Hi crafty friends, welcome to Daily Dose of DIY. I'm Chris and today I'm going to show you how to make this 3D bumblebee. It's going to go with our 3D butterflies we did in the last video. I have the free SVG file for you. I will link it down below for the free SVG file, the materials you need, and the written instructions. Let's take a look at what we need and it's really simple. You just need two sheets of cardstock. I'm a big fan of glitter and sparkly things so I'm going to use a glitter cardstock and a piece of black and eight and a half by 11. You can make them as big as you want though if you have 12 by 12 and you're going to need some glue. I'm going to use tacky glue but a glue stick will work just fine. Now in design space once it's open, you want to click the upload button. If you need help uploading and downloading videos, not videos, sorry, SVG files to your Cricut, I will also link some tutorials for that in the description. We are going to select the bumblebee. I've already got him uploaded in here and add to canvas. Now from here, once he comes on in, it's ready to go and you can just click make it and cut if you wish. You can also resize him to whatever size you want. You can make a teeny tiny bumblebee, a giant bumblebee, as big as your cardstock allows. Whatever size you want to do is fine. I think I want to make this one maybe a little bit smaller, but whenever you're ready and you're happy with the size, go ahead and click the make it button. Now here, if you watch the bumblebee video, I messed this up a little bit. You want to pay attention to the orientation of your bee, or if you're using eight and a half by 11, like I am, you wanna click this little down arrow and just change your material size to eight and a half by 11 so you are ensured that it will cut correctly. It does not change each mat, so we're gonna just change each mat really quick to eight and a half by 11. And then another little tip, go back up here and click mat number one. Because if we go from here, Cricut's going to cut mat number two first and you might load the wrong material. So I'm going to select mat one and then click continue. This is, while it's connecting to my maker, this is in regular, um, I think it's 80 pounds, 70 or 80 pound cardstock, a medium duty cardstock and like I said, I'll link you below. You wanna make sure you get a solid core card stock. And what that means is when you cut it, it will look black on the inside too and you won't have those white lines. So I just lined it up to the side and the top, smooth it down, open up my Cricut Maker. It's connected now. If you have an Explore, go ahead and set that dial to card stock. On my maker, I have medium cardstock as a favorite, so I'm going to select that. If you don't have it as a favorite, you can come over here. Well, that screen disappeared, but over in here, it'll say browse all materials. Now it is telling me it's ready to go, so I'm going to push the go button. If you click browse all materials, it will bring up the cardstock. Browse all materials and then search a cardstock. It will bring up all the cardstock options. So while this go goes ahead and cuts, I'm going to pause this real quick and I will be back to show you how to get it off the mat and put it all together. Okay, our first sheet is cut, so I'm going to unload the cut mat. Flip your mat over so you're pulling the paper off the mat. It keeps it from curling. It's going to save the rest of this paper. So we can use it for another project. So I'm going to set that to the side and I'm going to come back and get the bumblebee. I'm just going to peel him off just as slow. And once he is free, then we can take this scraper tool and get rid of the rest of the bits. You want to make sure your mat is nice and clean. If there's any butt bumps or bits left on there it might mess up your cut. So I'm gonna load this. I'm looking at my screen. It looks like either way will work because I made this one smaller. Load this up and then we're gonna change it because I know my Cricut Maker does not cut as well as my Explorer. You can see there's some here I'm gonna have to pop out. The corners just didn't get done really well and on my Explorer it cuts no problem. 
but glitter cardstock is thicker. So if you use glitter, are going to use glitter, you want to click this down arrow. If you're on an explore, go ahead and change your dial to custom. On the maker, you just click this down arrow, browse all materials. It's going a little slow today. And then type in glitter. It's going really slow today. There we go and select glitter cardstock. It will do two passes and it will cut it just a little bit deeper so I can be sure that it cuts through. And once this finishes cutting the, the glitter layer, we will put it together. Okay, it's finished cutting our glitter and I'm gonna do the same thing to get it off the mat and put that to the side. And then we have our bottom glitter and our top little bumblebee. So what I'm going to do is flip him over. There's not really a front or a back. It's symmetrical. But on the bumblebee part, you obviously don't want to glue the head and antennas because it's missing from the wings. I didn't think it was necessary. But we're just going to add glue to his body area and down the stripes. You don't want to glue the wings because you want them to be able to pop up. So once you get glue on the body, Flip it over and line it up with the bottom of the body from your glitter layer. And then push it down. And that's it. It's easy as that. You'll want to, of course, pop up your wings, but you're pretty much done. Once you pop up the wings, you have a gorgeous little 3D bumblebee. This is going to go great with these butterflies behind me. I got my other bumblebee hanging up there. It will be great for room decorations or cards or whatever you want to use it on. So thank you so much for watching and doing this craft with me. Please like and subscribe for more fun Cricut crafts and tutorials. And I'll see you on the next video.